William is still leaking to the UK tabloids. Prince William is still leaking information and more and more lies about Prince Harry and Meghan to his tabloids. Now apparently, Prince William is saying that he is still so so upset, deeply upset and feels let down by Prince Harry and Meghan. William, we want you to know this. You need to move on because Prince Harry already has. Prince Harry has already said that his relationship to Prince William is space. That's our relationship. Space. William needs to stop leaking information about Prince Harry and Meghan. He needs to stop. He needs to stop. He needs to stop. And he needs to stop right, right now. Remember an article by the Times years ago. They said this. This sense of embattlement has been entrenched by William's decision to reach out to senior figures in the media as he prepares for kingship and by the apparent decision of those same newspapers to side with the palace of Meghan and Harry by peddling the most negative coverage of the Duchess' relationship with Thomas Markle. Remember that. Remember that article from the Times. Now, members of the squad, the Times is the same, same media outlet. The UK tabloids and, you know, the royal family. The royal family spoke to and told them and briefed them about these bogus bullying allegations that they started leveling against Meghan. A woman so openly bullied by Kensington Palace staff. Yes, Kensington Palace. Palace staff. They did that to Megan, especially towards Megan. Their main target has always been Megan. And things, a lot of things are being revealed. A lot of things are being revealed. And someone said this that why would you think that after William's constant betrayal to Harry, now William apparently wants to play victim right now? Prince William wants to play victim. Right now, he's attempting to play the victim. Why? Because, you know, apparently, the fact that Harry and Meghan did the Oprah interview is also deeply upsetting for Prince William. He sees it as a betrayal. A betrayal. Prince William will never ever know the definition of betrayal, even if you paid him to understand its definition. He'll never get it. Betrayal is when you wage a smear campaign targeting your brother's wife. Betrayal is when after all these years, Harry followed you and Kim Milton around. The least you could have done is show your support towards your own brother, someone you call a brother. The least that William could have done is simply show his support towards Prince Harry and his dearly beloved wife, Meghan. But what did they do? What did Prince William and Kim Milton decide to do? They chose that being cruel was the only way because they were jealous of the attention that Harry and Meghan were receiving and the fact that the tabloids themselves began ignoring events attended by Prince William and Kate Middleton and started following Prince Harry and Meghan around. The jealousy, the jealousy, the jealousy and the public affection that the public had for Meghan, the dearly beautiful beloved wife of Prince Harry. The jealousy was eating Prince William up so, so badly that he authorized his own employees to start saying demeaning things about Meghan to the UK tablets. And they, and they did just that. They did as they were told by their master, by their boss, Prince William. The rot starts at the top, not just from the staff at the palace. It starts from the top. I mean, you can't tell me that all this leaking has happened without the authorization of Prince William. And even a so-called carnival or so-called expert called Robert Jobson said that Kensington Palace, which Prince William adds, Heads is in charge of was the one leaking information about Harry and Meghan 
I mean, they can deny it all they want, but Keystone Palace was leaking information about Harry and Meghan. Lies, 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 lies to the UK tabloids targeting Prince Harry and Meghan. And that's why I'm saying Prince William will never ever understand betrayal. Never, never, never. Because he himself has never experienced it. Never. He's never experienced betrayal. So these things like Prince William feels betrayed. Apparently now that Prince William feels so deeply upset and feels let down by Harry and Meghan, a friend of Prince William, said this to a UK tabloid. Come on. Seriously? Come on. Seriously? William, we are not gullible. We are not gullible. We see your hand in the smear campaign targeting Prince Harry and Meghan. We see your hand. And your fingerprints are all over the smear campaign targeting Prince Harry and Meghan, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. Kensington Palace can deny it all they want, but they are the ones leaking information, lies about Harry and Meghan. To this day, despite the fact that Harry and Meghan no longer even live in the UK, after they bullied them out of the country, William still feels like he needs to talk about Prince Harry. Harry has moved on, William. Harry has moved on. He has a true brother by the name of Nacho Figueras. It's time Prince William also moves on. It is time that Prince William also moves on. Harry said it loud and clear. Leave him and his family alone. If the fact that Harry and Meghan did not attend all Jubilee events except one is not clear enough, then William Willilix is the one who has too many, too much time on his hands and should focus on being relevant. Because even the tabloids themselves are now asking William about Prince Harry. Their relationship for as long as they continue to bully Prince Harry's family. And who is Prince Harry's family? His wife, Meghan. I know it hurts for some, from some currents to hear this, but Harry's wife is Meghan. That is his dearly beloved wife, Meghan. The woman he has two beautiful, remarkable children with, Archie and Lilibet Diana. Some currents will be so pissed to hear this, but they just have to hear it because I've been seeing some trolls pop into our channel. It's time you hear it very clear. Prince Harry has a beautiful wife. His name is Meghan and two kids, Archie and Lilibet Diana. As long as Prince William and the rest of the Crystal Palace staff that lack any form of diversity whatsoever, as long as they keep on smearing and briefing against lies, 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 telling lies about Prince Harry and Meghan, the relationship will continue being space. You know, I've been seeing, you know, all of this that Harry needs to apologize. Meghan needs to apologize. Actually, it's not going to happen. It isn't going to happen. Harry and Meghan will not apologize for the disrespect shown to them by members of the firm and the UK tablets. You know, I even had someone working for GB Propaganda in tweets posted on, on Twitter saying that, you know, we gave Megan everything and then she spat on our faces. I mean, what did you give Megan? What did you give Megan? What did you give Megan? You know, the, just a few days after her relationship to Prince Harry became public, Prince Harry was already issuing a statement condemning racial abuse and harassment of his then girlfriend Megan. When she was pregnant with baby Archie, all these lies were being told. She was being called by Prince William's staff at Crystal Palace, the degree wife, that, hey, look, her relationship to Prince Harry will only last two years or three years. And guess what? Bang! They are in their fourth anniversary. And the currents will be so pissed to hear that right now. But all the weapons, all the stones they have thrown targeting Prince Harry, all the lies that they have told about Prince Harry and Meghan are all failing. No one's buying it anymore except the currents that were promised that Harry would come back and marry a dim white conservative blonde. They were told that by Piers Morgan. Except those currents. 
they still think that there is hope for them. They still imagine having hope. One thing is for sure. Harry has already shown and told each and every single one of you that his priority is his wife Megan and his two kids, baby Archie and Lily Petana. And time and time again, the fact that currently he is in court fighting for security to protect his wife and children, the right to pay and fund his own security in court. Think about that. Clearly shows the fact that Harry is a man of his word. He will always protect his wife and children. Remember what he said in the interview with Tom Brabby. And now that I have a family to protect, I will protect them. I saw what they did to my mother. Now that I have a family to protect, I will protect. And that is what Prince Harry has done for his dearly beloved wife, Megan. Now, someone called Anna said this, that God, just yesterday, we were told he was over it. Clearly, William needs to let go. Harry told us years ago, they were on different paths. Then last year, he told us their relationship is based at the Oprah interview. Still going on about it is making William look like a childish person and a jealous ex. They can't accept that Harry and Meghan want nothing to do with them. They can't accept it. I mean, I think that the anger and Prince William currently is pissed off. He's pissed off that Harry is living a happy life because the goal was to destroy Prince Harry. That was the goal. And because that goal has not been accomplished, William is pissed. The goal was to make sure that the tablets are not interested in anything having to do with Prince Harry and Meghan. And now look what's happening. The only time they ever talk about Prince William and Kay Milton or prop up William and Kay Milton, oh, have the perfect roles. Oh, they've never put a foot wrong. They have to, in that same sentence, they have to trash Harry and Meghan. I mean, they can't praise or do PR for Prince William and Kay Milton without trashing Prince Harry and Meghan. And that does not make and neither will it ever make Prince William and Kate Milton look good in the eyes of reasonable people, not gullible ones that read and believe every single thing that they are told by UK tabloids. Now, Sawako V said this, Harry literally moved out of the country. That's the definition of moving on. It seems like William is stuck, novel gazing, and it's very, very Sad. Someone called Vinnie Blair said this. That will teach Cain not to be racist to his brother's family. Did he expect Harry to take his side against Megan and Archie? I bet he's not half as upset with Harry as Harry is with him. Cain should just shush about the whining until Prince Harry's auto Prince Harry's biography is released. That Prince Harry's memoir is released. I can't wait for Harry's memoir because it will reveal a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. And I can't wait for it. Now, someone said this, that, that just the same way Jason North, his former communication director, gave internal palace correspondence to their friends, the Daily Fail. The Daily Fail. And I will never ever tire reminding Prince William, of what his employee Jason North, his favorite employee, Jason North, went to court to issue a statement against Meghan in court to assist a tabloid that bullies, harass, harasses his brother and his sister-in-law, Prince Harry Meghan. Time and time again, Cain keeps on betraying Harry and Meghan, but yet, apparently, expects Harry and Meghan not to go to Oprah, not to talk about the experiences, to just take it. Take this mere campaign. Because why? Because Cain is the future king of England. Prince William is the future king of England. And Harry and Meghan need to diminish themselves so that he can be propped up. That's just a disgusting way of thinking. A disgusting and clearly shows the entitlement that some senior members of the family like Prince William, Charles, feel like they have or that they deserve. Well, Harry and Meghan are not going to give you the pleasure 
the pleasure of seeing them ruined, destroyed, or their character, you know, with this never-ending character assassination campaign targeting Prince Harry and Meghan. They won't give you that pleasure. Harry and Meghan will continue to thrive and be happy. Thrive and be happy. And William is pissed about the fact that Prince Harry and Meghan, despite all these smears, their character has not been destroyed. Their character remains intact. And that's the source, the source of anger. The source of anger for Prince William. The source of anger. And as I said, I will never tire in reminding William what his personal employee Jason North did. And they still, both of them, you know, Megan was fighting not just the Daily Fail in that court case about involving the letter sent to Thomas Markle that Megan won. She wasn't just fighting the Daily Mail. She was also fighting the palace itself. And Megan won against the palace, Kenston Palace, and also the Daily Fail. And I'm glad that she won. I am happy that Megan, the Duchess of Sussex, won. I am proud that Megan, the Duchess of Sussex, won. Now, some of the said this. He probably should not have spoken about Archie the way he did. That's the rift. He just didn't think Megan would hear about it. And also, don't forget this, Tessa. The fact that this person, Prince William, we have been told by less of Robert Lacey, someone who wrote a biography about, you know, the rift about Prince Harry and William. I don't know, some people call it Princess at War or something. You know, wrote, wrote a book like that. Now, Robert Lacey said that Prince William was calling Megan demeaning names. Demeaning names. And in a world that would have been fair and just, if this world was fair and just, the person who would be stand, who stand currently accused of bullying would be Prince William and Kate Milton for all the pain that they have caused to Harry and Meghan if this war was fair. If this war was fair, the fact that Kingston Palace staff, their own staff for working for Kingston Palace have been revealed by the so-called carnival of so-called experts to have been saying demeaning names targeting Meghan insulting her, abusing her, and being so happy to spew their venom to the tablets about how much they dislike her. The goal was to remove her and remove her far away from Prince Harry. And because, you know, that failed, they are pissed about it. They are pissed that all the plans, you know, they had plans that, you know, Harry and Meghan's marriage will last for two years, three years. And now they're at the fourth anniversary. Now they are pissed because every single lie that they told about Prince Harry and Meghan is now being exposed. The royal staff working at Crystal Palace are being exposed. Working for Prince William are being exposed for being the bullies that they are. Because they are indeed bullies. Now, members of the squad, another person had this to say. I am sorry to read that William cannot move on and live his own life without mentioning Prince Harry's name and of course pursue his own goals, whichever they may be. And another person replied to this by saying this, that imagine how much more let down Harry feels about this too. He welcomed Kate with open arms and expected the same treatment for Meghan. Imagine how disappointed Prince Harry was when he saw, instead of welcoming Meghan, what were they doing? Kim Milton was lying to come when he's a liar that the black woman has made me cry. When in reality, it was Kim Milton that made Meghan cry. What else did they do? The fact that, you know, this all the smears, all the insults from the Keston Palace staffers working at Keston Palace, all of them participating, so happy to say all the demeaning names that they were calling Megan behind her back, members of the squad. And yet, Megan is the one that they accused of bullying. Bogus allegations. Bogus allegations. Bogus allegations. Ladies and gentlemen, 
Prince William should come to terms that his relationship with Harry is space. Harry has already come to terms with that. The fact that Prince William and Kate Middleton were not invited to baby girl Lady Diana's birthday, nor Harry and Meghan did not speak with those two people, individuals, clearly showcases that that relationship, with good reason, is space. Their relationship is space. I will remain that way for a long, long time. Because quite frankly with you, I don't see William apologizing for, for his actions. I don't see Prince William apologizing for what he did to her and Meghan. He's been born and bred in privilege. He's spoiled. He'll never apologize for his actions. Harry is the one with a good heart. William inherited Prince Charles' attributes. And that's why, you know, that's what the tabloids love. I mean, they were hoping, as I've said before, that Harry would be more like Charles, a person who leaks stories about his wife to the tabloids, a person who, you know, abuses his wife or insults his wife and cheats on his wife. So that the tablet can have access to his life, to know everything about him. And because Harry is not that type of person, they are pissed. They know who exactly is the one with a good heart. It's Prince Harry, not Prince William. And people need to be reminded of that. Now, members of the squad, what more can I say? Prince William needs to move on. He needs to move on. Move on from Prince Harry. After everything that, that you've done to them, to Harry, Meghan, Archie, all the name calling, all the name calling. You know, I remember even the article I was written that William does not want little bit Diana to be christened. So much hate, not just for Meghan or Harry, but also for their mixed race children. I wonder what could be the problem. What could it be? I mean, the only thing is that Archie, Lilibet, are mixed race. Megan is mixed race. So much for not being a racist family that Prince William said to the press. And the royal family needs to be held accountable for their actions. Prince William needs to move on. Needs to move on. And more people, more and more people are opening their eyes to how Megan was treated. More and more people. And I'll have more details about this soon in our next podcast but with that and so much more stay tuned to our next video don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button for daily and consistent content keywords daily and consistent and stay tuned to our next video love you family always and forever always what do you think about this story it's time i think that william needs to move on what do you think about this i think that william will never understand the definition of betrayal after what he did to Harry and Meghan after everything that he put them through. Through. This person, William, will never ever understand what it's like to be betrayed after everything that they have done to Harry and Meghan. He has the audacity to say that he's upset and feels let down by Harry and Meghan. What? Did he want Harry and Meghan to just stand there and take abuse because the tabloids are propping him up and writing positive press for him and Kate Milton, that Harry should take being demeaned, should take watching his wife being racially abused because it's helping Prince William get positive press. That just ain't gonna happen. That just ain't gonna happen. Stay tuned to our next video. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Hello, members of the Squad Family TV. First of all, I want to say thank you for all your support that you give us to our channel. We don't take it for granted that you support this channel. I want to say thank you from the bottom of our hearts for lending out your support and fighting against injustices, supporting Prince Harry and Meghan, showing them love. Love will always triumph over evil and for that I say thank you. Good will always prevail over bad. Thank you so much for all your support. Thank you so much for joining this community, this amazing community of Zesco Family TV. I love you so much family from the bottom of my heart and I wish you all the best. May you have a great, great day and I hope that you enjoyed this video and learned a lot, a lot of things. With that and so much more, stay tuned to our next video. Leave a comment below, like and subscribe. Love you family, always and forever. Sayonara.